Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another course vlog from Los Serrano's Golf Club. I'm playing the Jack's Black Tee. It's the back nine, and I'm one over par at the moment. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more of these course vlogs. I'm going to come out with them pretty regularly. On to the 10th. Smoke that two iron up the blind par four 10th hole. Up to the top of the dog leg here. You got to fly it over the lake. And the pin was sitting back on this little baby tongue tucked over the bunker. I was feeling pretty confident. Decided to aim right at it. Who we thought that was okay, but it was right next to the green. That popped up. I used a putter. It was sitting down in a very, very bad lie. Got really, really lucky, lucky with it. Definitely couldn't have used a wedge there. Used the putter to smack it out of that weird lie. Hit it up to a foot and tap it in for a par. Uh, number 11 here is uh, one of the tougher par fours on the golf course. Dogleg to the right, uphill, second shot. Not too difficult when you're hitting the tee shots like that right down the middle. 186 yards, that's a standard 7 iron for me, but at a club for a 6. Up the hill, up the hill it goes. that six iron right to the middle of the green trickled it on down trickled on down come on no oh, come on damn it six inches tap that in for a par two tapping pars to start the back nine got an elevated tee shot here playing downhill a club and uh when the clubs fly a little bit further, I tend to try and still hit it harder, even though the distance is going to fly with the hill. Left myself on the left side of the hole. Weird, weird lie there. A little, little fluffy lie. Did not hit a good chip shot. Left myself about, what, 12 feet here? And um, it's all right. Let's just roll it in go to the next one. Oh, that thing turned left. How did it go left? Did not see it go left at all. Was not something I've ever seen. That's all right. Tap it in. Let's go to the par five and get one back here. Smash the driver down here. A little tug on the driver there. Left myself in the trees for the second shot. Uh, this hole is all in the second shot. It, it drops down about 30 feet and back up to the flag. And you really do not want to be on the bottom of the hill. you got to play it back up onto the uphill slope. Avoid the water on the right-hand side. Played the second shot beautifully. Left myself right in the middle of the fairway. Nice three-quarter sandwich into the green. Man, with the ball on the uphill slope, that thing just jumped into the air. Didn't go as far as I wanted it to. Had a long look for birdie. Oh! The story of the front nine was burning edges. A couple of holes later, the story continues. We're burning those edges. <sighs> Another tap in par. I really wanted to get that bogey back, but uh, it's all right. We got back-to-back -back par fours on the golf course, and the last two par fours as well. Straight away, down the hill, 400 yards. I've been working on hitting a draw with my driver, and tugged it a little bit there, but it's okay. Sitting in a fluffy lie. was able to get that ch to check up quite nicely for me underneath the hole about eight feet for birdie Boom! Yeah. What a shot. there we go got that bogey back back to one over par staring at the skinniest par four on the golf course if you miss left it's going to drop down a hill
I had been missing left a few holes in a row, so I definitely bailed out to the right. Did not want this ball to go left and down the hill, but left myself in the trees on the right. Had to punch out, tried to skip it up under the green. Oh, man. Just got hung up in the thick rough right in front of the green here. A little unlucky with that punch shot. That's a quarter player. Woo! But when you can chip it to two feet, it's not too bad either. Par, par five in front of us, down the hill, water in front of the green. Really skinny fairway down there. I really tried to fit that one in and it just leaked off to the right just like the 15th hole drive. And once again, I was in the trees, had to punch out. Hit this four iron punch right down the cart path area and uh, left myself on the fat part of the fairway over here. Oh, actually not in the fairway, a little fluffy lie here in the rough. And uh, three quarter sand wedge into the green. Now that I look at it, it must have been that lie that made that thing jump because, man, it just went a long way over the green. Flew about 100 yards. Had to chip it back close. Awesome. You just... Oh, God. Hit a horrible chip shot there. And when you have 45 feet for par, you just need to lag it close and not make double. Good lag. Half in bogey. I'm okay with that. We're back two over par. We got two holes to play. 17 here is a big downhill par three. It plays about a club downhill. Oh, be enough. Please be enough. I think that's like five feet. <laughs> here we go. 10 feet for birdie. How? I just stayed there on that lip. Come on. All right, 18. 677 yards from the blacks. Nothing you can do but just hit it as far as you can. And well, I did just that. I'd been leaking a little bit right, so I aimed a little left and let it go. And there it went all the way down there past the bunkers. And uh, this is a layup short of the water. A little tuggy on the layup. I'm just making sure I don't hit it in that bunker there short right of the water. Left myself a decent pitching wedge. Pitching wedge goes about 140, so I had to take a little off of this in order to hit it the right distance. But I really didn't take anything off at all so it flew the full 140 yards and over the flag but my chipping was okay i chipped this one close again and stared here at five feet for par to finish the round all right another par to finish the round one over on the front one over on the back, that's a two over 76. I mean, it's 7,628 yards, and I shot a two over par 76. I am thrilled with that score. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like and a thumbs up there. And, uh, hey, if you got an opinion, leave a comment below. I'll reply to you. Appreciate everybody. See you again soon.